And oh, welcome to the goal setting part. Just before we actually get into the, the real exercise of it, I just want to share with you this template here. And it's a, a great, I mean, smart goals have been around for years, but the reason being, it's very good. And it's just a way of dissecting and building some detail and some awareness around your goals. So we'll go through it together. Be specific when you write your goals. The brain loves the detail. So the, the more details and more specific you can be, the better. How can it be measurable? So basically, how do you know when you've achieved it? How do you know? Is it a certain title? Is it a weight? Is it a time? You know, is it a medal? Anything like that. So how do you know when you've achieved it? Is it attainable for you? So can you actually see yourself doing it? Yeah. Is there other things that you need to have a look at as well? Is it things like transport or financial, you know, financial funds, things like that? So you can open it up a little bit and start looking at some details. Is it realistic? So if you're training once a week, is it realistic to be a world champion in something? No. You know, also with this part, is the goal real for you? Because sometimes what can happen, um, other people's agendas become, become your goals, if that makes sense. So, you know, is it actually your goal or are you being pushed into it by friends and family, for example? So just have a little think about that. Um, also, I'll put a time frame to it because the moment you put a deadline in and there's a date and there's a time, for example, the unconscious starts kicking into gear and it starts to be like, okay, let's start moving towards that now. So let's have a think about this, then we'll move on to the next exercise. Welcome to the first exercise. You can download this from resources or you can just get a piece of paper, draw two lines down the middle, you'll end up with three columns. So column A is where you are right now. And be, really, be brutally honest with where you are because with that awareness, that's the first step to any change, being completely aware of where you are now. Point B, where you wanna be. We talked a little bit about this using the spot format, so keep that in mind, be specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and put a time to it. Here, if you're wondering what that is, that's a light bulb, and that links up with that because as you do this exercise from A to B, your unconscious is going to start giving you ideas of how you can bridge the gap and start jotting them down in the middle there as well. So valuable information, uh, take your time with it, allow ideas to prime up. I'm going to do it as well. It won't be sports related, but it'll give you a good idea of how this works. Hello, how was that? Especially the middle part, what came up for you? What came up which would help you move from where you are now to where you want to be? I did say mine wasn't going to be about sports, but I've changed my mind. It's about my running at the moment. So we'll just go through it as an example. Where I am at the moment, I'm running about twice a week. There's no structure going on. There's no times. I'm just running around the block, basically. The part runs are not running, so I kind of have lost my, my times and my motivation at the moment. Where I want to be is... I want to be running 5k in 19 minutes 30 seconds. I want to be doing that in three months time. I'll put a date as September the 15th here. More importantly, this was a standout. I want to enjoy my running. That's really what I want. And running three times a week in the morning is ideal. That's gold standard. So all of a sudden my brain started giving me ideas of how I could bridge the gap. So I put here, I could find my iPod. I've got an iPod somewhere in the house. I could find a running coach. They would help me. I could join a running club, that's a good idea. There's a Strava um, watch and app going on. I don't know much about it, but I could purchase that and apparently they're, they're really good. There's an iPhone holder, I've seen people wear them on the, the biceps there and I've got audio books on my phone, so that might be a good idea to get me going. Let's match that up with smart. So have I been specific? Yes, I know what I want and I'll put a time there as well. Is it measurable? Yes. Is it attainable? Yes, I reckon I'm probably running about 22, 22 and a half at the moment, so I can do it. Is it realistic? Yes, if I do the training. So we've used that as a good template. What I'm gonna ask you to do is update it if you need to update it to add on to yours, then commit. Take one thing off your list and commit to it to take action. For me, I'm, I'm gonna find my iPod. I will find it, it's in the house. I'll charge it up add some music to it and go out running tonight. So that's my commitment, that's what I'm gonna do. Hope you found this exercise useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next part of the course. <laughs>